They call it fast fashion for a reason. It's an industry that's never moved at such a rapid fire pace. Styles changing at the speed of a TikTok trend. The demand of one day delivery, the promise of a free return. It's consumerism at its apex and a far cry from the days of owning one perfectly tailored suit worn down to the threads. I used to go to a, a dressmaker or like a seamstress or a tailor and they would, they would create something custom for you and then you would keep it. It's gone from that to mass consumption and I think there's a tipping point. And while the endless options on what to wear might be surprisingly cheap sometimes, fast fashion has come at a cost. With a global supply chain crisscrossing to markets around the world, the fashion industry is now the third biggest polluter on earth, responsible for 10% of all global carbon emissions. Here, mountains of garments and unused fabrics thrown away to landfills and forgotten about. When you come across images showing like mountains and mountains of clothing being buried or being landfilled in yep. other countries, what do you see in that? I see first world countries offshoring their guilt to third world countries. And he should know. Garrett Gearson was a rising star in the fashion world. Literally, he even appeared on NBC's reality show, Fashion Star, and he traveled the world with his collections. Do you think we're gonna win? Oh, gonna... for sure. <laughs> and then he came across this snag in the business model that was impossible to ignore. I watched a documentary called The True Cost. It was like a big eye opener for me. We're environmentalists at heart. We're here to you know, be stewards of the land. And, I'm doing the exact opposite. Each year, about a half a trillion dollars is lost in unused clothing ending up in landfills. I thought, this is not, it's not sustainable. So he started to redesign fashion for the 21st century, one that's not so much about sewing as it is about writing computer code. And today, nestled in the Malibu Mountains in a converted old horse barn, Variant 3D is weaving future tech into the industry. I want to be able to 3D print clothing, products, textiles, with zero waste, using sustainable fibers. I want to do it locally. With digital scans, his team has developed software that they say will soon allow anyone to design their own wardrobe, email it to a local clothing 3D printer with your exact measurements, and voila. I keep checking to see the size. I'm like, what size is this? No, you there are no size. sizes. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be your size. And as wow. it should be, right? Like, and that's what the future looks like. And that future's not far away. This is the ranch wear of the future right here. You can't feel this because it's TV, but the stretch and the feel, like this is what, this is what I always imagine like the Jetsons were wearing. So you're not just talking about printing clothing for the masses, you're talking about print printing clothing for the individual. Yeah, the individual at mass. But how realistic could this be for the average consumer? Probably in 10 years time, we should probably all have one of these printers in our home, so we'll be able to do this ourselves. Like for everybody or for everybody. just for the people that have like millions of dollars? No, for everybody. No, I think this will be as cheap right, or as affordable as a 3D printer. You to buy make the, your own clothing. Yep. Your own clothing, your own shoes, recovering your own furniture. I'm going to hold you to this promise. A software solution to mass pollution, sketching a digital pattern for the future of fashion. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.